This is a uh, three-phase motor that we're going to be wiring for high voltage today. Uh, it's actually uh, dual voltage, uh, 208 volt, uh, and can also go to 460. And what we're going to do is uh, wire this for high voltage today. Uh, to save some time, I've already have a cable set up uh, with our wires coming in for our power supply, and I've already separated our three uh, line leads up above here. Uh, first, what we're going to do is uh, you always want to look at the motor plate on the side here. It'll show you the voltage uh, and you can wire for lower high voltage and again we're wiring this for high voltage. Uh, for starts, uh, we have number 6 and 9. The wires are all individually numbered and so I'm going to locate number 6 and number 9. Take our wire nut and cap that off. Uh, the next set of wires is number five and eight. Take a wire nut, cap those off as well. The last set is going to be four and seven. And again, these are all marked right on the wire. They're stamped on the outside. Number four and seven. Okay, so those are taken care of here. Now next, we're going to bring going to bring in these line leads using the three-phase motor. We're going to have three lines. I'm going to locate the number two wire, which is here. I'm going to connect that to our, our black wire coming in from our power source. And we'll cap those together. And I'm going to locate our number one wire and I'm going to join that with the white incoming power. And then the last one is going to be our line number three. We'll go to the red. Cap that off. We also have our ground wire, which I've already got a terminal connected that'll go underneath the ground screw inside the terminal box. We'll just tighten that up so that we're grounded. Now we've got all the wires where they're supposed to be. Another thing that uh, is good to do sometimes is take and wrap each one of these with electrical tape uh, that'll ensure that they don't ever vibrate loose and you have a good tight connection. Tuck those back in our box. And we're ready to put our cover back on. Now if we need to reverse rotation, Bert, what is it you do? Oh, that's right. The rotation sometimes, in some cases, depending on your incoming power. Uh, this pump needs to run in uh, clockwise rotation. If for some reason it's running reverse, you want to switch your line one 
in line three, which would be the, the white and the red wire. Uh, just swap those around and that'll take care of uh, correcting the proper rotation. Okay, thank you. I'm standing.